video, you learned all about the musical alphabet and the grand staff, which is where we put all of the notes. Remember, the higher notes go on top in the upstairs, and the lower notes go on the bottom in the downstairs. Today, we are going to learn all about one note, C, and especially middle C. Take again a look at the grand staff. You'll see middle C is right there. It's not in the upstairs or the downstairs. It's right in the middle. And you'll see it has a little line through it. It doesn't go all the way through like the other lines, but just a little line. We call this note middle C because it's a C and it's right in the middle. Not just the middle of the grand staff, but also it's the C that's in the middle of your piano. Let's go over to the keyboard and take a look. The first thing we're going to do is try to find the middle of the piano. Now, if you have a traditional piano, you might notice that right in the middle, there are some words. That's the company that made your piano, and that can help you find the middle. If you don't have words like that, just try to find the notes that are in the very middle. Now, do you remember how the black notes go in groups of two and three all the way up the piano? Groups of two, groups of three. So I want you to find the group of two black notes that's the closest to the middle of the piano. Do you see them? Here's where mine are. And there's that company name right up above. All right, we're almost there. Now, go just to the left of the group of two black notes and down to the closest white note. That note is middle C. Let's play it. Can you play middle C on your piano or keyboard? Great. Now, here's the really cool part. Every other C on the piano is also next to a group of two black notes. Watch this. If we're on C, then the next note is D. And what comes after D? E, F, G, A, B, C. There's our next C. And look, there's a group of two black notes right next to it, to the right of it. Let's play both the C's. First, middle C, and then the higher C. This C, the higher C, is called treble C because its place on the grand staff is in the treble clef because it's higher than middle C. All right, now we're gonna find the C that's below middle C. So just look down and let's do it by looking at the black notes. We're looking for the group of two black notes that's down below this group. So is it this? No, that's a group of three. There it is, group of two black notes and the C is just underneath of it to the left. Let's play that C. It's lower than middle C. We call this one bass clef C because its place on the grand staff is in the bass clef in the downstairs. All right, now let's play all the C's on the whole piano. So let's go down to the very bottom of the piano. You might remember that the very first note is A. What comes after A? B. And then C. Now check it out. There's two black notes right above, so we know it's right. So that is the first C of the piano, okay? Let's play it. One. Now let's try to go up to the next one. Look for the group of two black notes. There it is, two. Let's go up to the next group of two black notes. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. There we go, seven C's on the piano. Now, can you find middle C again? Let's see how fast you can find middle C. 
Look for the middle of the piano, group of two black notes. There's middle C. So if we have seven C's, middle C will be in the middle. That means we should have three C's above middle C and three C's below middle C. Let's find out. All right, so play middle C again. Now we're going to play all the C's above middle C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's one. Find the next one. Two. Three. Now let's find the three below. One. Two. Three. Great job. You found all the C's on the piano. Now, I'm going to play a note and you tell me if it's above middle C or below middle C. So, let's play middle C again first. Find the middle of the piano. Good. And you're going to say above or below. Okay. Above, right? Middle C is lower. I'm going to do another one. Below, right? That's below middle C. That would go in the bass clef. Let's do another one. That's below also, right? It's lower than middle C. Okay, one more. That one was higher. It would be in the treble clef. All right, play middle C for me one more time. Good. Now let's look at the grand staff again. Do you see where middle C is on the grand staff? There it is, right in the middle. And remember, you can get your own grand staff on page two of your book, My First Songs for Piano. So we're gonna play a little game with the grand staff, okay? I'm gonna point to a note and you're gonna tell me if it's higher or lower than middle C. But instead of just saying higher or lower, you're gonna make a special sound, like a high sound, eek, like that, or a low sound if it's low, or whatever sound you want. Okay, you can make up any sound you like. All right, so here we go. There's middle C, here's the first note. Eek, that's higher than middle C, isn't it? Okay, let's do another one. Eee! That's also higher than middle C. Are you ready for the next one? Ooh. Do you like my low sounds? That's because it's a bass clef note. It's below middle C. Here's another one. very close to middle C, isn't it? It's just right above it, but it is higher. That's a higher note. Okay, we're going to do one more. Are you ready? Here we go. That's a lower note. It goes in the bass clef. Now, do you remember which hand plays the treble clef? The right hand. And which hand plays the bass clef? The left hand. All right. Great job. You're getting really good at this. In the next video, we are going to start learning our very first song. It's from the book, My First Songs for Piano, that you can get at myfirstsongsforpiano.com. I'll see you next time.